Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. We're going to be looking at derivatives of inverses of functions. So before we can do that, we're going to need to recall what inverses are. Here's an example of a pair of inverse functions. We have the function y equals 2x minus 2, and we have the function y equals 1 half x plus 1, although I'm going to rewrite this function in a different way. Notice that if you think of 1 as 2 over 2, you can add these two together and you have x plus 2 over 2. So either way you want to think about it, it's still the inverse, but the reason I wanted to write it this way is so I could show you something about the operations. In the first function, y equals 2x minus 2, we have the operation of multiplication. The x is being multiplied by the 2, and then after we multiply it by 2, we subtract 2 from it. And in the uh, inverse function, we have the opposites of those operations, the reverse or inverse of those functions. We take whatever x is plugged into it, we add 2 to it, and then we divide it to. So instead of subtracting and multiplying, we have addition and multiplication, I'm sorry, and division. And not only that, but we've reversed the order as well. So one way to think about inverse functions is that they reverse each other's operations. But the way we make that happen is literally just switching the x and the y coordinates. If you have a function that goes through a point a, B, its inverse will go through the point B, A. For example, on the graphs we have here, y equals 2x minus 2, well that goes through the point 0, negative 2, and the blue graph, y equals 1 half x plus 1, or y equals x plus 2 divided by 2, goes through the point negative 2, 0. So for each point on one graph, the other point is flipped around. The x and y are switched. This also gives us a way to find the inverse of a function. So if I didn't know the inverse of y equals 2x minus 2, the procedure would be I would first switch the x and y coordinates and then solve for y. So I would start by switching the x and the y. So instead of y equals 2x minus 2, I'd have x equals 2y minus 2. And then I would just get y by itself. This is actually already the implicit version of this inverse function. We've already found the inverse, but we just like to have it in y equals format when possible. So you would add 2 and divide by 2, and you'd get y equals x plus 2 over 2, or in other words, y equals 1 half x plus 1. That's one way of finding the inverse of a function. The notation it gave the original function the name f of x equals 2x minus 2. Then the inverse of that function would be f to the negative 1 power of x equals 1 half x plus 1. This, by the way, is a terrible notation. It gives the impression negative 1 power we associate with taking the reciprocal, flipping, but that's not what this is saying at all. So it's unfortunate, but that's the notation that has stuck over the years. So but what we're interested in, of course, is derivatives, right? And what are derivatives? They're the slope of the function. And so notice that in the function in orange here, y equals 2x minus 2, since it's linear, we know the slope is the same everywhere, and that slope is 2. And then in the blue function, we have a slope of 1 half. They're reciprocals of each other, which makes sense. Derivatives are a ratio, the change in y over the change in x. They're a fraction, right? If the slope of the original function is dy over x, and then we switch all the x's and y's, what happens? We flip or get the reciprocal of the fraction. In general, it's actually true that the derivative of the original function, if you flip it, you get the derivative of the inverse function. But there, it of course gets a little more complicated when you have a function that's not just a straight line. So let's consider the general case in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.